Hey guys, we're on set right now for a top secret Raging Stallion project. It's spooky, it's spooky, and you're gonna love it. a very, very sexy horror movie with Raging Stallions, and I'm really excited to be part of it. And that, 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 that. Part, okay, now I'm checking my focus. It is shenanigans. It is amazing and so, okay. so the concept for um, Overdrive came about when I was kicking around ideas with uh, writer and director Ben Rush, and we wanted to come up with an idea for a horror film. And finally, we arrived at this idea of a rideshare driver who becomes unhinged. Horror thriller hybrid. There will definitely be these scares, like the the all of a sudden a boom, like I'm there about to like strangle somebody, etc. But the thriller of being like, what's about to happen? What's gonna What's he gonna do next? It's this I'm gonna be a fan of. What do you know? It tastes fucking good too. <laughs> I guess I like both genres, <laughs> so it'll be nice to let them together. Like, Being able to show it explicitly is going to give kind of a different feel to the actual death. So I'm excited to die. I think every horror movie likes to dance around being, you know, softcore porn. So I think having one be hardcore porn uh, just fills the it fills the fantasy. I'm really excited to be part of it. Like, I, I, I just excited me. It's, it's something interesting, something different, and I'm just, I'm really just glad to be part of it. I die pretty quick. I don't make it very far, but I was really excited that I get to be a dead body in this one. <laughs> I feel like that's like a entertainment milestone you can check off getting to play a dead body. <laughs> I wish my nipples were sensitive too. Like, uh, it could be hardwired, like from here to there to there to, well, I mean, you know. I think there's a potential crossover between the horror fans and the gay porn fans. Both genres dive into the taboo. I think that gay audiences are drawn to horror in many ways, the reasons that black audiences are drawn to horror. When you come from a place of either trauma, pain, or tragedy, you can heal from that by seeing it enacted out in other ways. You're able to live through it in a very controlled environment. The it's thrill of not knowing what's gonna happen, the thrill of like, like when you have a hookup with sometimes you're like, is something crazy gonna happen? Like, or is this, you know, like I've never met this person before. Is he gonna be like a crazy psycho stalker? Especially with the Raging Stallion product, uh, we tend, to have darker themes, heavier themes. What the fuck are you doing here? Um, horror movies are not my favorite thing. If I watch them and I lose sleep over them, I make sure everybody else around me loses sleep too. I love horror movies. Um, I'm a scream queen. Ever since I was a kid, I loved Return of the Living Dead. It's terrifying to me. It still does day in those comedy. Anything A24, especially like lately, like just been killing it. I'm the biggest scaredy cat that you could ever meet when you're talking about horror. I don't watch any scary movies at all because I freak out over everything. I get to have sex and then die. So I go out on top or on the bottom, but. <laughs> you know, Jamie Lee Curtis just won her Oscar and I'm hoping to be right there with her, pretty much. <laughs> It's a wrap.